Welcome to the RB Digital App User Guide. Hi, my name's Trish and I'm one of the librarians at Barbican Library. The RB Digital App is completely free of charge and allows you to access our collection of digital books, audiobooks, magazines and comics. It can be downloaded from the App Store for Apple, Android and Kindle Fire devices, although sadly not for Kindles due to an Amazon restriction. Once the app is downloaded, you will see this screen. And you'll just need to touch on register now. And you'll be asked to choose um, choose your country. It does actually say choose state, but it is your country. So tap on the box here and scroll down to find United Kingdom and touch on United Kingdom. You then need to choose library. Again, tap on the box and just scroll down and you're looking for City of London. There we are, and select that. And then touch Create Account. You will then be asked to put in your library card number. This could be the number on your library card that begins with a P, and do include the P. Or it may be an eight digit number if you have recently joined us online. Then create a password and input your name and email address. At the bottom, there's a small box here. You just need to touch it so it pops a tick in it. And that's just to say you agree to the terms and conditions and then touch on register. Once you've registered, you will need to actually log into your account. So you'll be back to the login screen. So touch login and then make sure you change the country from USA to United Kingdom. Just scroll down the list and you'll find United Kingdom and then enter your email address and the password you have created. Once you've logged in, you'll see our homepage, which looks a little bit like this. And you'll then see a selection of the digital stock we have available. You can then use the menu option in the top left corner. I'm just going to touch that here. It's the three small lines. And you can touch books and you'll see the options for ebooks and audiobooks. Or if you go back, you can touch on magazines and you'll see the options for magazines and comics. And you can touch onto any of these and then you'll be able to browse the collections. There is also a search option and you just need to touch the uh, magnifier icon up here, which is in the top right corner. You will then see the formats we have available and you can choose which to search for. I'm going to select audiobooks. You've then got an option to search by keyword that's right at the top here and there's a little drop down menu that allows you to select either keyword title author or narrator and you can type into the box and then press search you can search by genre you've got availability this is useful if you only want to see the titles that are, are not currently on loan or you can use the one below called audience and this is particularly useful for finding books for children or young adults so in this example, I'm going to search for all modern fiction books for children that are available for loan. So I'm going to select modern fiction from uh, from the genre list here. And then I'm going to touch on availability and I'm just going to select available. And from the audience list. I'm going to select children. Once I've done that, I just need to press the search button. Wait a few moments and then you'll be able to see the books that we have available. So how do you check something out? Once you've chosen an item that you would like to borrow, so let's say we're going to go for, for this one here, you just need to touch check out underneath the title. If you then go back to the menu option and touch checked out, you'll see that the item that we have just selected has been checked out. And you can download the item by touching download underneath the item and it will begin to download. And once downloaded, the item will then be available for you to read or listen to offline. We do recommend downloading over Wi-Fi, especially audiobooks, as these are quite big and can use a lot of data. The default, default setting is download using Wi-Fi only, but you can go to the menu and select my account and settings and you can change this if you would like to. Once an item is downloaded, if you just go to the checked out screen, 
you can either touch on uh, play or read and you'll be able to access the item. If you touch on the picture, you'll also see the options to return or renew the item. If you have any problems using the app, go to the menu and access help. And there is a lot of information here to help you out, including the RB Digital support email, which is rbdigital at wfhouse.co.uk or contact one of the libraries via our email addresses. Thank you.